Hi, I'm going to show you a demo of how StanLab works in a few minutes. This demo is divided into three steps. The first step is the demo of how the teacher set up the lab and quizzes. The second step is the demo of how the student takes learning in StanLab. And the third step is the student taking an assessment lab. Step one, teacher sets up lab. So the teacher logs in and you can log in with your Gmail. Um, and when you log in, the first thing you want to do is create a class. I uh, will button down below. Uh, quickly, you do that, give the name of the class, uh, and then the class is set up for you. And then you can invite students just by sending them an invite. Uh, you can invite as many students that you want to uh, invite. And, you know, you can see a list of the students that you've invited, whether they've accepted or not. And you can see the list of classes that you've created. Students can log in also with Google uh, to, to their own account. And they then you know, go to see if they have an invite from the teacher and they can choose to accept or not to accept that invite. Uh, there's a notification that shows that that has been accepted. Uh, they can see uh, which class they've accepted for. Uh, and so for the teacher, they see the list of students who've, been, who've accepted the invite, who've accepted the invite, and then they can go on to create a quiz. Uh, they, they can add image, add number, add the quiz question, enter a question for the quiz, and they set a due date for the quiz, and they can, and then you can have students who can then, you know, what's supposed to do this quiz also. Uh, very simple uh, to, to set up. Uh, you can increase the number of questions, you know, for each question you set a due date for them. The next thing you want to do is, you know, see whether your quiz has been published uh, for, for the classes that you create. And then the next thing is you can also create a lab the process is almost the same other than these you already have pre-selected experiment and then you add variables uh, to the experiment. Uh, this is the way you set up your lab that's going to show up on the student side uh, when they log in into the, uh, the, the app on their desktop and they, they want to take the experiment. And so uh, on the student side, uh, you log in and then you again with Google so this is very easy. You don't even need to sign up, uh, do a sign up. And then you see the quizzes set by your teacher and then you can quickly take that quiz uh, and then submit answers and that appears on your teacher side. And then you can see other quizzes that your teacher set and you can enter the lab that your teacher set for you. But this is very important. You need to copy the lab code so you can, because that's what you're going to put in for the student when they enter into the lab to do the assignment. The second part is the student taking learning in the STAN lab. And so they use the same email that they logged in on the web to log in here also on the desktop app. They would have downloaded the desktop app and they are brought in into a lab setup and they can decide to choose whether it's the learning lab they want to take or the assessment lab. And then you choose your subject that loads for a few seconds and you can decide to take a tour of the lab, uh, which is essentially walking around, uh, looking at the spaces, um, pointing at the equipment or the apparatuses to know what they're used for. But for the purpose of the demo, what we want to really go to is conducting the experiment. So which is the second option you have? So you, you see a list of experiment. Let's say we choose titration. The, the setup that it brings, brings for you is, do you want to, an overview of the experiment, 
or do you want to watch a tutorial or you start the main experiment and the tutorial explains what the experiment that you're about to take is all about so it gives you foundational knowledge uh, that loads again for a few seconds depending on how strong your internet is and then you can pause or play all right uh, but for this purpose and because of time uh, we're not going to watch <laughs> the tutorial for this time uh, you get into startup you get to watch the tutorial and experience it but let's let's go to the main lab setup the experiment again you choose experiment you choose uh, titration because uh, that is the one you want to carry out experiment for and this time you say you want to start experiment and the lab setup is very, as you can see, very beautiful and well laid. Uh, you have labels on each of those equipments. And when you over any equipment, you see the list of keys that you can use to control that equipment. So now I'm, I picked up a pipette and I'm, because I'm doing a titration experiment and there is a progress bar to show me uh, how many steps have remaining. So of 100%, I've done something. Um, so that's quite instructive and then I pick up the indicator and you see color change in real time which is very good for students because this is the same thing that you know they see in a physical laboratory so the experience it is the same and, and they get to learn so the learning lab what makes it unique is that it guides you on how to do the experiment compared to the assessment lab where you don't have guidance and if you look at the top the left and top of the screen you can see instruction fill the barrette and the instruction changes as you carry them out uh, also showing the progress bar and then i can run my acid into the conical flask now and there is a label just showing me how much of volume is being run this is also very very interactive uh, so the students you know get to see and you can see the color change in real time and you can then record. And also we have other uh, menu here, like the lab book that you use to record the title value. And for other kinds of experiment, there'll, there'll be other things to record and you can put in your name. Uh, so this is submitted to the teacher. So the teacher gets to pick this up and, and then know that you've completed that assignment. And then you're presented with a congratulation message for, for getting your work done. Very simple and to The last part and the third part, the third step of this, uh, again, we assume the student is coming in just to do the ass assessment lab, and then they log in with their credentials. Uh, and then again, they are brought in into the lab, but this time they pick the assessment lab. And the lab code that the teacher gave to them on the web dashboard is copied. And when they copy that code and put it there, what it does is it set up the lab the way the teachers have input the variables uh, on, on, on the part of the teacher on the web. on the web. And it's the same set, you know, in terms of how it loops, other than as the learning lab, other than there are no instruction guiding you as a student because you're supposed to take the learning lab to know how to do the assessment lab. Uh, so it's just a, uh, a good way to be able to assess your student as a teacher, uh, checking whether they know how to do the experiment without stand up guiding them without your own guidance and you can give them real values. So this is really good for helping the student to vary the, 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 the kind of experiment setup. So they are not just stuck to one kind of example. So you can do several, several examples when you set up the lab for them, you know, with the variables that you put on, on, the, on the path as it, on the web path. So the student again, carry out all the experiments and it's the same setup other than again, they are not guided and they get when they finish they also can record and this goes in of course with the value that this is an assessment then the teacher sees that on their own dashboard 
So again, very simple setup and very easy to do. Thank you.